Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be describing how to install and configure a free trial version of PrimeKey's Cloud Enterprise Java Beans Certificate Authority, or EJBCA for short. First thing we'll need to do is head on over to the Amazon Marketplace. So fire up a browser, copy the link below, and I'll meet you in the market. Okay, let's get started. In the search field, enter EJBCA and click on the search icon. On the next page, select either the EJBCA 8x5 support or the EJBCA 24x7 support and click the appropriate link. This page provides a product overview and information about the free trial. Feel free to pause the video while you read through each one of these items. When you're ready to continue, click the Continue to Subscribe button located in the upper right corner of your screen. Next, log in to Amazon Web Services. If you have an existing account, you may use that. Otherwise, Click on the Create a New AWS Account to continue. Before continuing with the free trial, you will need to agree to the terms and conditions. Although there is no charge for the software component, charges do apply for the AWS hardware. Once you are ready, click on Accept Terms located in the middle of the screen. A pending status will be displayed indicating the software is now installing. Once this is complete, click Continue to Configuration. On this page, the delivery method and software version will automatically default. Select a region closest to your location as this is where the software will be installed. Click Continue to Launch in the upper right corner. Before continuing with the free trial, we'll need to do a little housekeeping. Our first stop is to create SSH keys, which will be used to connect to the AWS AMI instance. And secondly, we'll need to decide who needs access to this instance by creating a security group. We'll be using the AWS console to perform these tasks. In the upper right corner of the screen, click your login name and select your AWS console from the drop-down list box. On the next page, enter EC2 in the search field and press Enter. Select EC2 from the list of services. Click on the Key Pairs link, then click Create Key Pair, located in the upper right corner. Add a descriptive name for the key pair, select .pem, and create key pair. Select Save File, and click OK. You have now successfully created the SSH keys. Select Security Groups from the Network and Security menu item located on the left-hand side of the screen. Click Create Security Group in the upper right corner of your screen. Enter a name and a description for this security group. Next, we will configure three inbound rules for this security group. EJBCA requires access on port 22, 443, and 80. In this example, we have allowed access from any IP address. For your environment, decide which IPs will need access and adjust the rules accordingly. When you have completed this section, scroll down and click Create Security Group.
Now, returning to the Launch This Software screen, let's continue with the free trial. Scroll down to the Security Group's Settings and click the Refresh button. This will now auto-populate with the security group that was created in the previous section. Repeat this process for the SSH keys. When you have finished reviewing your selections, click the Launch button located at the bottom of the screen. At the top of the page, you will see a Congratulations, an instance of this software is successfully deployed on EC2. Click the EC2 console link in the green shaded box. Or, if you still have your console session open from the previous section, switch to it now. Select the instance by clicking the checkbox on the left side of the instance ID. The instance details will be shown in the bottom half of the screen. Locate the IPv4 field and click on Open Address. This will open a new tab in your browser. As I mentioned, I have been using the Firefox browser. Your screen may appear slightly different. In my example, I will be clicking on Advanced and accept the risk and continue. The EJBCA Cloud Configuration Wizard will be displayed next. For most of these settings, we will be accepting the defaults. Follow along as I demonstrate. For the host settings page, the IP address and SAN name, we will take the default. Click Next. Database config, we will be using a co-located pre-installed database with our certificate authority. Simply click Next. For the Management CA configuration screen, we will need to enter a password for the Super Admin Certificate. Enter a password, confirm the password, and remember the password. You will need it in a later step. Click Next. For Cloud HSM configuration, simply click Next. Confirm your selections and click Submit. The Management CA will start creating at this point. This will take approximately five minutes. So I'll speed this section up and see you on the other side. You will be returned to the browser once the wizard has completed. At this point, click Advanced, and then click Accept the Risk and Continue. The EJBCA public web page will be displayed. Next, click Create Key Store under the Enroll option. Enter Super Admin for the name and the password that was used during the wizard configuration. Click OK. The default RSA 2048 is fine. Click Enroll. Your browser will prompt you to save the file. Click OK. The superadmin.pem file will be downloaded at this point. Now we are in the home stretch. Next, we will import the superadmin certificate that was previously downloaded. In Firefox, open a new tab, and on the address bar, type about colon preferences. On the left side of the screen, click the Privacy and Security button, and then scroll down and click the View Certificates button. Click on the Your Certificates tab and select Import. Browse to the location of the Super Admin Certificate and enter the password that was used during the wizard configuration. Once the Super Admin Certificate is imported into the browser, open a new tab and enter the IP address of your EJBCA instance on the address bar. 
The browser will prompt you to choose the certificate to connect to the EJBCA web interface. Choose the Super Admin Certificate and click OK. The browser will warn you of a potential security risk. Click Advanced, then click Accept the Risk and Continue. The EJBCA public web page will be displayed. Click on the Administration link located in the miscellaneous group on the bottom left corner of the screen. This will create a secure connection to the EJBCA admin page, allowing you to start creating and managing CAs in your environment. If you are new to EJBCA, you may want to watch our next video where we demonstrate automating the creation of a CA using Ansible. Thank you for your time today. Enjoy the free trial. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team.